no matter how many times I promise myself not to let my hair get to this state, I just can't help it. <laughs> I've been wearing my hair in an half puff situation for about a week now, and this is what I have. I have a photo shoot tomorrow and I need this to change right now. So I am going to use my water, aloe vera juice, vegetable glycerin and oil mix to moisturize this. At this point my hair feels like if I manipulate it, if I just attempt to touch it, it's going to break. So I'm using this mix to try to appease it because yes this goddess on my head needs to be appeased i am really sorry for treating you this bad i apologize <laughs> please be good to me my hair is just damp if i put so much water it takes so much time to dry so i want it to dry overnight so i'm going to spray just a little bit if i feel like a section is not well moisturized i'm going to go back in and spray some more hair juice. I always finger the tangle before I use a comb. I'm actually trying to avoid combs now, but it's not working great for me. I am going to follow now with my leave-in conditioner and hair grease. You know that's what I use hair grease to moisturize my hair. This is the amount of hair I lost. I have a photo shoot session later today i <laughs> i just decided to step out of my comfort zone and do this thing for my birthdays like i want to do something different for myself i'm actually really worried about it but i hope everything is going to go on well so i want to style my hair for that and i thought about this puddle how do you call it i thought about this style i don't have hair long enough to do that and I watched a video from Glory of Kings where he uses clippings to do it, but I don't have clippings either. So I'm going to use Mali hair. So this is my hair. I just love the feel of it. Now I'm going to put my hair in three main sections that I'm going to further break down. So I am going to use Mali hair. I'm going to put these two bundles together and I'll show you how I use them later on. I'm also going to use thread. Let me just prepare them right now. I made four pieces of thread. So let's start with the back section. What I am doing now is I'm taking little, little portions of hair all around this middle part right here. I'm going to put them away in twist like so. Then I'm going to separate the remaining hair in two and this is how I use the Mali hair. I'm going to start a braid with the Mali hair. I wanted it to be really long. That's why I crossed the hair at the tip. So after starting the braid, I'm going to use a rubber band to secure it. I just started the braid and then I'm going to secure it like that. I'm going to do it for the two little sections at the back. Now I'm taking down the twist all around to cover the braids that I did. Look at this. I'm now going to use one piece of thread to tie down. Not too tight, I beg. It is not worth it. I can't stand the pain. <laughs> so I'm just going to tie it as secure as can be without being too tight. That's what we are looking like. Already looking good. I'm basically going to do the same thing here in front. I'm going to part out small pieces of hair. Then I'm going to start braids in the middle. This time around, I'm going to do four braids here. I think I may have put too much braiding hair then. I maybe should have folded the hair. I was so worried it was going to be short.
imagine me walking in the streets looking like this <laughs> oh my god that would look so crazy Now that all this is tied down, I am going to use my white hot comb to try to spread my hair over the braiding hair, the mani hair, so it evens out, it looks more natural, so it blends in, that's the, <laughs> the best way to put it, so it blends in better, so I'm going to do it over and under, because I try to tie it without blending the hair under and it was not going too well so i'm going to blend it over and under now it's time to make the the puffs After doing the second puff, I realized it was just above the second ponytail, so I just added them together and tied them down. So this is what we are looking like. It is not perfect. The first puff looks like it's out of this world. <laughs> and the braiding hair does not look quite like my hair color, but it went on well. Now we are working with the front section. You know, I do not really have edges. So as much as I would love to, I can't skip this stage. Like adding a little bit of gel to my edges and trying to brush them down this remaining part is basically just a twist and tuck I'm going to do that two times secure it with bobby pins and that will be it I use the third bobby pin to try to hide the end so pin the ends down so they are not visible this is 
the look this is it <laughs> we are done um i really wanted to show you what i looked like before leaving the house but i was rushing i was really late for the photo shoot session and i still had my makeup to do when i got there i started with the makeup first can you believe this i'm doing makeup on myself like with foundation and concealer and all that i've gotten to that level already i did stay really minimal with all that i don't want the pictures to look like it's not me i want to look like me but it's something extra that's why i use the added hair i want it to feel like i have long hair something that might never happen something i don't even want to happen long hair is just too much stress for me it wouldn't be fair if i ended this without showing you a few pictures here they are i so love them and that is all i have for you today i hope you liked the video and like i always say things are definitely going to get better Take care. Bye.